electric UPS, with Christmas just six days away, you probably haven't been able to avoid spotting the brown delivery trucks of UPS, or, as my grandmother in North Carolina used to call them, the UPS man. As consumers race to fill out their Christmas shopping lists, delivery companies are all over the nation's streets and highways in an effort to get the fruitcake you ordered for your mom to her while it is still fresh. Needless to say, for a company like UPS, fuel is a major expense and one that likely gets passed down to consumers in the form of increased delivery fees. So to ramp up its use of alternate fuel vehicles, UPS is taking to the road with Tesla. On Tuesday, UPS said it has placed an order to reserve 125 of Tesla's upcoming electric semi-trucks in what is the largest publicly known pre-order of the vehicles. The deal is seen as a big vote of affirmation for Tesla's semi-truck plans, as the company works to convince the long-haul trucking industry of the benefits of its vehicles. Tesla has said it expects its first semis to be on the road in 2019. The UPS order is worth $25 million, based on the $200,000 price tag for Tesla's electric semis. UPS has said it expects the cost of ownership of a Tesla semi will still be less than the $120,000 associated with a conventional semi-truck. Facebook's turn, on Monday, Twitter unveiled new efforts to combat the spread of violence and hate speech across its social media platform. On Tuesday, it was Facebook's turn, as the company said it would implement new tools to prevent unwanted friend requests and messages on its social network and messenger app as part of an ongoing effort to fight harassment across its sites. Another reason for iPhone X, whenever Apple does an update to iOS, the operating system that powers the iPhone and iPad, there are always a bunch of complaints about the update doing everything from slowing down a device to making it crash. Well, there might be some truth to those complaints. A study by Primate Labs, the maker of the app Geekbench, which is used to measure the performance of iPhones and other mobile devices, said it found notable declines in the performance of iPhone 6 and iPhone 7 devices following iOS upgrades. Some of the issues could be attributed to Apple slowing down the phone's performances in order to prolong the battery life of the phones, it said. Related articles AOLIM, once the king of messengers, shuts down Apple TV, Google Chromecast devices return to Amazon Apple says, Shazam, and buys popular music recognition app maker Bitcoin surge leads to the top of Apple's App Store chart Oracle heads back to court against Google, net neutrality supporters won't back down quote of the day, because the silencing of voices has helped perpetuate sexual harassment the country should guarantee that people can go to court to ensure these concerns can always be heard. Brad Smith, Microsoft's chief legal officer, in a blog post Tuesday. Smith was writing about Microsoft's support for a bill before Congress that would end arbitration in sexual harassment cases. Sign up for the 60-second business break newsletter at www.siliconvalley.com.